Kumu Chima in Idato, South Local Government Area of Imo State. This is the Dua Road. The, this road links Idato North and Idato South people to the rest of Imo State. You can see how many houses that has fallen inside this place. This is the major road. We are not telling you stories. This is the major road. This is Nkumuchima. This is the market. You see from that end, the road terminates inside the gully. And there is no sign showing that the road is bad. There is no barricade. If you are coming in the night, you just drive straight inside this ditch and die. And that's the end of your story. You can see this building here. I'm just waiting for one more rain for this building to go down. This is the current situation of the road leading to Olo from Idato South. And we are giving you live report from Umuchima in Idato South local government area of Imo State. This report is coming from Motion Nigeria. Have you got I can't get one number. I not not as a concerned son of the soil, I use this medium to alert the executive governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzodema, on the menace of erosion and flooding which has reached alarming levels in Idato, causing extensive damage to infrastructure, homes, agricultural lands, and displacing families from their ancestral homes. The situation has escalated to the point where the livelihoods of my people are at risk and urgent action is imperative. Families are losing their homes, farmers are losing their crops, and the entire people of Idato are grappling with the devastating effects of the combination of erosion and floods, this menacing duo has gradually transformed from occasional natural events into a relentless force that poses a severe threat to the lives, properties, and socio-economic stability of the people of Idato. Erosion, we know, is a silent but potent destroyer, and its menacing force has carved deep scares into the landscape, resulting in the loss of arable lands, collapsing structures, and threatening homes with every passing storm. Addressing this dire menace requires urgent and concerted effort from all stakeholders. Effective erosion control measures, such as terracing, reforestation, and the construction of retaining walls, must be implemented urgently to halt this relentless march of erosion improved drainage system and flood management strategies are equally crucial to mitigate the devastating impact of floods in Idato Nation. Collaborative partnerships between local authorities, government agencies, NGOs, and all the communities in Idato are essential to channel resources and expertise toward these effects. You can see this is the current state of Umuchima. This road links Olu to the rest of Idato, and from here you head to Anambra State. If you look up there, you see the gully has completely cut off the road, and there is no movement. This place has been impassable for the past three years. This is the fourth year, and we are calling on the government. The state government has done their best, and from what we have seen. The best of the state government is not enough. This is beyond the state government, and we are calling on the federal government to come and rescue the people of Idato, North and South Federal constituency. 
rescue the people who are living here. Many houses have fallen into this gully and the National Assembly members should legislate very quickly and encourage the government at the centre to come and rescue our people. If nothing is done, this uh, whole place will be swallowed in the next few months because this is another renaissance. Ndi dato, chetapa no nandi igbosi. Onya durana ga ajo onwea. Therefore, in the face of this dermenes and the obvious neglect of the people of Idato by the government of Imo State, Idato people must unite now to safeguard their future. This should no longer be about politics or class, but about the future of Idato people. By taking urgent actions and implementing sustainable solutions, Raising awareness and mobilizing resources amongst ourselves, Idato can rise above these destructive forces of erosion and floods, transforming these perilous challenges into an opportunity for growth, resilience, and renewal. This is a test of the strength of Idato people. Ndingwane Dimpa, Hapota, from Obodoku, I am David Chedoze Nwenyi. Ugudi na mwi dato, achoromo de mandi dato. God bless you.